to this. If somebody for say Sean Paul is a king, king of, of dancer, dancer, would you disagree? I don't I don't like those those um terminologies because yeah. there's many people who have come and done an excellent job at representing our our culture to a level when Cape Town was seeing left left Jamaica go far and pan tour, what was I in the business? I wasn't shit. Mm-hmm. And I to tell the honest truth, him was a king to me. Um we'll just go far back as, as Yellow Man. But no, Yellow Man called himself the king because he was the the person that took dance hall out of Jamaica. I would say one of the first people to tour that much to have a lot of people know who he was outside mm. of our culture. Yeah. See, so he called himself that. Then you have Beanie Man call himself that now, where he is huge. And and there was many years where I wasn't, I was a pipsqueak to Beanie Man. Mm. I wasn't, I wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I do have that respect for Cabra who got signed, Stitchy who got signed. Shabba. And that was, that was, that was kind of always my goal to, to see if I could reach to that level, entertain my own people and then try to get a deal where something could pop off. You understand? So um, all of those people are kings in their own right to me. Papa son of, of, of um, have, have certain songs in this culture and certain following from before, way before they had turned into Christian DJ, so to speak, that, that I, would, I would label them the king at that time. There was one point in time, Johnny P had about six, seven songs that would play on rotation every day on the radio and every dance that I went to when I was a certain age. So when I, when I say him is the king here and him is the king there, it's kind of it's kind of nonsensical to me because you have man of the moment and you have monument, man. But, 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 I mean, but, he's a monument, man. He's not no man of the moment. But I've king... been here, they stand up like a statue. Well, we have multiple kings, though. He can move, you know what I mean? It's not like the crown can stop. Yeah, because but we are live on. Call me that they can. All right, yeah, we have a call here. We have a call here. So so if somebody <laughs> say, all right, for instance, for instance, me, if somebody say, oh, Jay, you are the king of comedy, I'm going to say, no, I'm not putting enough you know, work yet because <laughs> man, like, major hyper do way more than me and I feel like, say, <laughs> right. if I'm not even equal to major do, I can't say right. And you have the younger you and like Dean and them are putting way more work than me. I have a respect for them, I do. You feel me? Yeah, but, but, so, but, me, but, I say but, you. But from that person know? perspective, from that person perspective, you are a king. Yeah, but when yes, I say... You can be. Yeah, so what I say yeah. is, you, Sean Paul, I, I, say, it, I don't claim the title, bro. No, no it's not you, you to not, claim it. It's not you to claim it. We're not saying you for claim it, you know. Yeah, uh, what yeah. I say is... Who we have said that? If I'm going to say, yo, Sean, you know, some of the parents and you, they must say, yeah, the king. Well, you can't get back to that. I'm going to see what I'm going to say, though. I'm going to see what I'm going to say. I'm going to say the, I'm gonna say the same thing like you, like what you're saying. I, I understand their perspective, but I have in my mind people who I would consider that. I'm not even, I'm not even going to say it to, to, to kind of cause the split. Like that man there or this man. Like mm. To me, there's so much of us that have talent. And that's my whole point in the beginning. Like There's so much of us that have talent. And so much of us that, that do well in terms of bringing songs across that, that are powerful enough for big players in the music to look back and go like, yo, what they doing is dope, bro. Mm-hmm. And start to start to do it the more self. We would just leave by leaving us out. And they have the space to do that because we are divided kind of worrying over who is the call the king and who is the bigger man and who is the man now. And, and which artist bust thing that year there and, and, and him have a tech this year and all them thing there is divide in, in your mentals, bro. Your, your, our minds are divided and it doesn't make any sense no more to me. As somebody who has gone, gone through the gauntlet and gone, done many things in firing and I'm still on charts in firing, I'm still letting go songs that are being bought and streamed or whatever. Um, on a, on a great deal and so I would think that by me saying something like we need unity yeah. more that people would kind of more agree with me instead of saying seeing that headline and not reading the, 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 oh, okay. the exact things that I said oh. and be like yo yeah, talk because some truth though. We're not gonna, I mean as, as, as quote unquote podcast as journalists me not gonna make the truth much of a good story I keep it real with you 
<laughs> I keep it real. Yeah. After work with the clicks, we need them clicks, real, man. Really, but me if I say yo, headline, Sean Paul says dance on the unity, okay? Yeah. You know no, like, Sean right. Paul say sleep yeah, mentality it, and not a jungle <laughs> or not get whipped, not kill each other. Hold on, no no sense. <laughs> <laughs> not come together. Yo, yo, I get it too. I get it, and that that's that's a that's a reason why I do music and I I don't think I don't I I, I can't think like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's part of your job mm-hmm. as a journalist to to tell truth. But also, if you don't have nobody to tell it to, that's our whole next issue. So, yeah. you want them headlines to get people to come in. Mm-hmm. My my point again is, it's not your fault, it's not my fault. It's the people's fault who not reading the entire article or listening yep, yes. to the entire podcast and yes. then have their... A snippet. Hey, One side side opinion. Listen, we have oh, yeah. we we put up headlines already. Like we'll say, yo, it's alkaline running down with a literal question mark. And I'm on to them fool yeah, when we literally say right? when we literally <laughs> agree and say probably agree with them in a but them they ever take the time yeah. out for say yo, let me hear what they must say. No, but that's why I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm like you know, even the name of the podcast, let's be honest. Yeah. Because keep it real, man. Being honest like, is something sorry, being honest is something that we need to do more with each other. Because why your opinions matter, we're not going to just work out. I'm going to say I agree with what you say. I'm going to say I still want to clash, but I'm going to totally agree with you. And it it it, yeah. it, 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 it good for you to come from you because you do the runs. You feel yeah, me? We see, we see that you have, come. Like there's so many big artists who don't have a number one Billboard song. I'm not at number one pan rap chart or hot R&B, hot 100. Well, let me make what top, and you top have 100. four of them. You feel me? I have two by yourself. And I like say, oh, at the strength of B and same, get busy, yeah, boy. No. You have temperature. Work. You have get busy. You feel me? I say, so. The uptown boy, yeah, yeah. up. You feel me? But we'll oh, oh, run through some quick questions and ra- <laughs> wrap this up. You feel me? Oh. What is a hit for Sean Paul? Because now in a dance hall, like I'm going to ask you, your intense, nah, miss. In skilly bang, nah, 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 miss. miss but all of them. Me, me, you know, if you say them, nah, miss, because they might get the blank them, but me not see the we certifications. We not see the numbers, we not see crossover. We there, we so, not hear the intents are fine. I'm going to say, me yeah. not, not bash them, but me I say, what's a hit for you? Yeah, what's considered? When you, when you see, um, when you said earlier before that, um, our culture kind of, let me put it this way. Our culture has its own thing. It's living and reading. And sometimes, Two years after, a song will break international. It took them that amount of time. I I recorded Deport them in 1998. And it's in 2000, it started to play on radio stations in the States. That's two years. Mm -hmm. So it takes time. So there will be some that are more um, friendly for the international market. So just be like a coffee where the song sound just sound nice. Right. You understand? She's spitting some dope lyrics, but the style where intense are come with right now, a man like Skilly Ben, I appreciate them style. And yeah. it's going to take a little time for people to be like, mm. I see how it, it's just a little different from what people are doing. And it's more innovative to us. We're like, yo, that's innovation. That's, crea- that's creativeness. That's dope. But then it's going to take about two years or, or more sometimes for them same artists there reach a level where it come true to an international crowd. So I don't I don't really say that them man they can't have a hit off of what they're doing, but it might take some time. No, well I'll see what's what, a hit. A hit to me a hit to me is 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 a song that is undeniable. I don't want to hear somebody tell me say, yo, this song growing on me, because fungus <laughs> grows on you too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to know right. say, when you have a song, everybody in the room say, yo, yeah. what a- That's a hit. The oh, first listen. Up. The first listen. But there's different Hits. personalities and people perceive things different throughout the earth, man. So so it's, it, it's going to... When you say that I am in a p- precarious p- position in this genre, this whole genre is in a precarious p- position. Sorry, because... We talk in broad patwa, and our rhythms were so different. When in early hip hop, they would when they ever wanted us to do any work, you would see Shaba, Shaggy, um, and people like that going on R and B rhythms and that and, and, and hip hop rhythms because they weren't like what kind of rhythm that. And it took them how much years to be like, yo, this shit dope. 
And now they're they're doing it. Yeah. They didn't get with it at first because they never understand it. It's book, book, clack, book, book, clack. What, what is that, man? You understand? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. even though what we had done had helped them to develop what they do, yeah. they could, we went further ahead. And then they were like, we can't get with that yet. After a certain amount of years, you start to see them experimenting with it. I'm going, yo, this is really hot, though. I like to when I hear the, the Jamaican DJs playing on the radio. When I'm driving, that shit bounce, that shit bang. So they start gravitating towards it. You understand? It took them years to do that. So it's going to take years for some of our younger artists who are on point to us to, to, to really make an impact away. You will have territories like um, Costa Rica and Panama and, and, and like um, we call Puerto Rico that they've been checking us out forever. That's mm-hmm. how come they could have developed Reggaeton, reggaeton way earlier than some of these cats come and start spitting on on um on dance tracks. Because as I say, if you check it out, most of the thing them were shabba the bus with Ting a Ling a Ling wasn't a big song internationally as much as a song like House Car, which was more R and B oriented. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. Same, same you check the camera. sales and you check when, when Ting a Ling a Ling play, you would have few hip, certain hip hop heads would be like, yo, this is dope. This is the thing. And then a, a lot of people in the States or abroad is like, what is that? Mm. That's not reggae. I can tell you a story to where I was up for a Grammy and they was like, that's not reggae. The Grammy committee was like, that's not reggae. This was, this was the first time I, I was up for the Grammy was, um, uh, was the time rap- I won it. Well, best rap which song. was... Dirty rock, oh. and, and they were like, "That's not reggae, though." So we we don't want to give this cat um, something for reggae. And I was the, one of the most popular artists on the earth at the time. Every song I did was going on charts and 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 popping off and oh, playing yeah. in every radio station and TV oh, station yeah. and them type of thing there. And so all of us was like, "Yo, how can you say it's not reggae? It is reggae. This is what reggae kind of evolved to." And then uh, um. We won the reggae Grammy at the time. And then ever since then I've been thinking to yo, but sometimes it really it don't it ain't reggae. It don't reflect nothing like what reggae was. So we are in a precarious position itself. We evolve so much, we do so much songs, and we move on. And some of them still stuck like the international community, they still stuck like one of the biggest songs for last year for dance hall, for, for any person in dance hall was Bossy something that I'm on and that's an old school kind of rhythm yeah you understand that something that our done, young right? generation is like yeah that bad but we, we kind of it bad yes and everybody dance to it that thing but look how much songs we have like that from Punani rhythm to you know Dave Kelly Showtime yeah, yeah. type rhythm to all of that stuff has been done and we, we've done it and we love it we will play it on our radio now as as old as or whatever but but them not they're just catching on to it bro yeah. So, so it's we are in a precarious position, and to get more of us to understand how they think, to be able to 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 to, to have more of us signed for more artists to be able to sell records in that way, is is something that I'm trying to get to because when these pop artists come and do dancehall now and they don't call it dancehall, it's unfortunate for us. Really, is because it's kind of diminishing our power silently. Like silently, it's kind of like it's taking it from us. Wow. I remember back in the day when I won a Source Award, um, they, they asked me, they, 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 they gave me the award and I went on stage and I was like, no, I do this for, for everybody from Jamaica and I, I'm so proud to be here at this point. But for all of you R&B artists and, and, and hip hop artists that are using our genre and not calling it dance art, you know what I mean? There's going to be something to pay for that, and they they block that out of the out. Of, I said it live, the whole room here, right? Yeah, we're gonna cut and, that out. We ain't gonna we gonna cut we that out. We ain't gonna use it. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah they they blocked it out of the of when they broadcasted it. And who I was talking about was specifically like people like like R. Kelly because on his albums, boy. he had had songs like um, "Move Your Body Like a Snake," man. That, yeah. That's to me is yeah, might sam- be yeah. him sample Cabra as well too. 
yeah, there was a lot of things that he did. I was just like, not only him, a couple other artists. I was like, Paul Wallet have some that sound dance artist to me, Miss it too. And none of them never said, dance big up to dance hall, or this is my dance hall single. And up to today, these cats still, they come, they do work. And Believe. if you have me on your rhythm, that's one thing. But when you, or even when you sample me, that's the next thing. But when you do a dance hall production and you spitting on it or singing on it, and you don't say, this is a dance hall single, to give us the power to make people say, what do you mean? What's dance hall? Exactly. Oh, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Then, then, to me, you're silently taking what we have. It could, it could turn turn the fans, turn their fans into a new sound that they create because a lot of people don't really know dancehall outside of dancehall. Really. Bro, so, yeah. I'll tell you something. Really, you know, a yeah. teacher in Miami, and she know me personally because she married to my cousin, and she, she was like, yo, she called me and tell me, say, there was a fight in her school, seen, and the little great kids were talking, said, give me the light. The song was busting, and she was like, yo, the, the kids was like, yo, this is a dope, this is the newest, this is the freshest hip hop I've ever heard. This is innovative. This is <laughs> and some of the Caribbean kids in the class was like, no, that's dance hall. And they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. These are kids in grade nine or, or grade eight. You know what I mean? So they were like, they were, they were, they don't, they didn't know what the fuck dance hall was. Yeah. They've never heard it before. Still. A grown, yeah, grown, grown girl, my meat. Say, oh, she love dancehall. She love burner boy and them. Yeah. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs>